wonderful art glass up there, the big ball of frizz. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we are embarking on a cruise. So we're currently here at Cape Canaveral. I think we're going to the Bahamas. I don't even remember. I think we are. Mongolian walk over here. So maybe I'll get that, I don't know. I have never seen it this busy before. I think this is not a great time to eat because there's nowhere to set. Okay, so I'm currently walking down the stairs inside the ship. They are loading luggage into the room, so we can't get in until about 1.30. Heading down to deck five. There is a casino, we could check that out real quick. But I'm gonna wait to eat until a little bit later when that whole dining room calms down a little bit. Yeah, here's the casino this way. This is cool. Floors look amazing, that green stone. Wow. And there's a stage over there as well. These ceilings are pretty cool too in here. They have the casino bar right over there. They have like these cones on there with all the changing light. Club 02, ages 15 to 17. Is this celery? Looks like celery stalks. Look at this room. They've got like hands holding up the ceilings. They're silver hands. And they have a dance floor over there. There goes a little boat. But our boat's bigger. Hmm. You got a tiny little boat. That way you can't even see, but that's like the Space Center, NASA. There's another tiny boat. Okay, let's see if the lights work. Okay. That's pretty nice. At least they don't have pictures on both sides of the room like the last cruise I was in. They had like the same art on this side and on this side, but now it's a little bit more asymmetrical. That's some interesting art. There's a man on a stool playing a flute or he's making something. I don't know, but it's a nice size room. Got a queen bed, got a TV. Oh, I ordered this for myself. We have here, look at that. A couple macaroons, some strawberries, some truffles. Isn't that great? I think this was like $12.50. These are like red velvet chocolate covered strawberries with the truffles and the macaroons. I had some onboard credit that I needed to use anyway, so see the bathroom is through here. Well, that's a pretty good size. You could fit a couple people in that shower. Nice sink. Very good. They have some closets over here. I won't even use these. I never do. I just leave all my stuff in a bag. Some those things that you can hang. That's a lot of storage. Well, we're gonna go head out and see what we can find on the Lido deck for food. So I'll meet you over there. Let's go. Oh, they got their little pets on their door. A lot of people decorate their door around here. Let's see, we'll grab some of these noodles here. There we go. All right, we'll add some peas. Get a lot of peas in there. I haven't had a pea in a long time. Lots of peas. To do shrimp, chicken, or beef, and I'm doing chicken. All right, there it is, all done. Let's go find a place to sit now. The dining area has really cooled down a lot since it we were here earlier. Oh, well, I'm gonna get the peanut butter s'mores cake, which is right through here. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. And I think I'm gonna add a couple cookies to it while I'm at it. They've got these chocolate chip right here. So we'll get two of those, just like that. Oop. Wonderful. They have these fun green cups. So I got my water right over here. Water is free, which is really good. Now we're gonna go set back down. Welcome back. I thought we would have a little bedside chat. So I've got my wonderful little assortment here and I've been trying like the macaroon and the chocolate covered strawberries and these truffles, which is basically like eating straight fudge. It's a fudge ball. So the strawberries are pretty good actually. They are lovely. They're dusted with a little bit of red powder in that lovely red powder these macaroons are a little bit dry but look at all the carnage oh my gosh here's what this that macaroon it's just 
It's just, I don't know. I think it's a kind of dry. I've had, I've had macaroons before that were wet. And then you have your chocolate balls. Little chocolate ball. And the strawberries were really good though. So yeah, $12.50, I think it was worth it. I think it was worth it, yes. Dust off, dust, dust, dust. Wow, here's the main lobby area. They've got a bar down there. Looks like a band will set up later on. It's really cool. It says conservatory. What does that say? Victoria Lounge and the Stage Piano Man. This is really pretty. This is the one floor below where we were. There's this nice little lobby area. And then they have the dining room down there, the Silver Olympian restaurant there. That looks really cool, all these lights. I just looked at my sale and sign card and this is where we will eat tonight. So got a little sneak peek of that. This area down here is where the muster stations are. I did that earlier, right when I first got on the ship. So it's done. Muster station, okay, so we can't go that direction. We'll turn back around and go this way. Here's a view of the entire ship, the main part of it. Over that way is where the Space Center is, way over there. But it is a full, full ship today. Lots of people in the hot tub down there. There's a swimming pool that way. I know behind me there's another hot tub and pool. It's a really nice day too for it. Here's the other side of the ship. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh. Let's go. We're going to do the basic step. To the left. Take it back now, y'all. You know what I'd like to find is actually guest services, which I believe is here. I wanted to get a, like an itinerary of things going on because my phone is out of uh, battery. So I think we need to be on floor three, tech three. We'll head over there to guest services. We could walk through this stuff. Maybe it's open. Well, I didn't find what I was looking for, but here's something called the Persian room. Oh my goodness. What is this? There's lots of luggage in here. I guess I'll leave the Persian room right out through this automatic door. Yikes. Okay, it is this way, I believe. Let's see if we can find it. They also have all of these like little areas set up for photos. Oh, there's guest services. This is really pretty. Look at that fixture up there. And then if you go up high enough, look, the glass ceiling. I look at the, I just love the elevators. I think a lot of carnival ships have this where you can see the elevators go up the lobby. And this is the Carnival Liberty as well. I haven't been on this ship. This is the first time. Okay, now they used to give these out in the rooms, but I went over to guest services, actually to the shore excursion section, and they were able to give me one. So that's good because my phone is completely dead, so I can't even figure this out. All right, so this is today the 9th at 6.30. They're playing Jurassic World. And then even at night at 9.30, they're doing the Batman. So yeah, they have movies you could watch as well. I think we're gonna eat around six o'clock though. So we might, I'll probably miss that movie, the Jurassic World. But that is today's things. And yeah, I think we're gonna eat around six o'clock. They call that early dining. I decided to pop outside for a little bit. We are really moving along now. There is the ocean down there. So pretty out. Here we are on the other side. So the sun's over here, a little bit warmer, but it is still kind of windy. Isn't that pretty, that water? And the further we get out, the bluer it gets. Wow, look at this bar. This is called the Piano Man Bar. And they've got a piano shaped bar. And then all of these chairs, they're whack. Like, look at them. It's kind of like a bowling alley or something mixed with mushroom chairs. They have all this art in the hallways. So if you're wanting to buy some of this art, they have an auction. Although I can tell you from past experience, it's very expensive. Well, it's my first time having it on this cruise, but this is the ice cream and it is a twist and they're little plastic swirls cup. 
we have dinner in just about 30 minutes or so. So I will see you down there at the dining area. All right, here we are in the Silver Olympian dining room. Very cool. Oh, right through here. They have these nice little tile plates for your bread and really cool decorations here. It's all silver. For the main, I'm going to get the sirloin steak, actually. And then I think I'm gonna do, I'm looking at the strawberry cream. I might do the strawberry cream, I don't know. They're, they are known for their melting cakes though, so we'll see what I wanna do. I don't have a clue yet. Bread time. Oh, here we go. Oh, look at that. There's my tomato soup. This soup was really good. I actually really like the soup. This was it had a nice blend of spicy and tomato and yeah, that was really enjoyable. Here's my steak and three tiny potatoes. Okay, so the steak was really good. However, these potatoes were terrible. But I did have them bring up some mashed potatoes and they were really good. So luckily there was a saving grace for the potato part of this meal. All the vegetables were really great too. Yeah, but these potatoes, they're just very potatoey with no taste. I'm poking a potato. For dessert tonight, we're doing a little fruit plate here. Watermelon, half of a, a quarter of a strawberry, three grapes, and a ton of pineapple, and a ton of watermelon. Well, we just finished dinner, and I thought we would walk through the shops a little bit. So they've got a nice, expensive shop right over there. And then there's also, from this way, there's one called Cherries on Top, or one cherry. Not plural cherries. Cherry on top, this way, with all of the candy in there, but I don't want none of that. This one says Cruise Memories, so we'll check this one out in here. Tax-free. They have bags, handbags, and jewelry in the case, and a sundress, and a hat, lots of clothing, and sandals, and socks. Okay, so now at the end of this hallway, oh, look at that floor. I really like that. It's like terrazzo flooring. You have the green and they have the cream and then the white. But this is the larger auditorium they have. Oh, I think they have a movie going down below there. Actually, it's up there. Oh, yes. Well, I'm back in the cabin for the end of the day. It's about... Eh, almost nine o'clock. So after dinner, walked around a little bit as you saw, and then went up to the outer deck and sat out there, watched the end of Jurassic World. I did actually see that movie already, so strangely enough, I was very lost, even still, because <laughs> it's been a minute since I've watched it. But it was pretty good. Now, dinner was decent. The, like I said, the potato was strange, but the steak was really good actually and the fruit was good <laughs> as much as it could be it is now the next morning and we are going to be docking today all right there is the island right over there currently in the serenity section of the ship nobody's here right now and they have these glass windbreakers up here maybe also so you don't fall over whenever you're a little plastered i don't know I think it's actually for wind because this is the front of the ship. We're slowly moving. I imagine because it's we're getting so close to the island. We'll get there soon. They have all these nice seating areas too. Usually they're completely full, but it's really early. So only a few people are out staking their claim. So they have movies that play up there. You can see up on that large screen at night they do. So that's pretty cool. There's the pool, and then there's another section up here that you could go even higher. It's kind of cool. They have all three ships right there lined up. Actually, there's four of them. Carnival, there's Royal. I don't know what's right behind Royal. Then there's also MSC Seascape, and this is Nassau in the Bahamas. 
All right, so we just walked through the main area and there was a ton of people coming up asking if we'd like to take taxis and all kinds of things. So now we're doing this little walkway here. They've got gelato. And so we're gonna check out the downtown area here by foot and take it from there. This is really cool. Look at all the stone. It goes up the wall there and then all of the palm trees and foliage. And now straight ahead is known as the Queen's Staircase. I imagine she had to be carried up it, especially towards the end, but no, I don't think she ever walked on it. But it's very tall. It's very steep looking too, my goodness. So there are about 64 stairs here, representing each of the years that Queen Victoria ruled, except the last two of them. Wow, that's really cool. There's this large tower up there and this little street. So we're currently walking through a fort or like a little tunnel. Oh, they've got cannons to shoot off. Looks like prisons or something. There's these three cells right here. And then you can go up top. What is this? Slippery when wet. Maybe it's a bathtub. Is this the shower house? Oh. It's an entire tour. So we're standing on top of the fort right here and then you can get a better look over at the ships all lined up. There's a very expensive hotel I heard that's over that way. This particular fort is actually from 1793 but something I just noticed about it really neatly is these cannons are on rails so they can swivel back and forth and there's three of them. You can arrange them to any degree you'd like. The Atlantis Resort is right over that way and that's the one that has the Michael Jackson suite. It's, it's in behind the trees there. It's kind of a cream color. Right there, straight ahead. And I heard that that center section there, that little bridge walkway between the two main structures, that is the Michael Jackson suite specifically. Actually, Johnny Depp's house is over there too. And I don't think we can see it from this side but it is also on that same peninsula looking plot of land. I'm going back down the opposite way that I came up. This is a lot more simpler. They've got tiny little stairs and this is whenever the queen was elderly. She couldn't make the other one. And eventually they just rolled her down the hill. I'm kidding, that none of that was factually true. Hopefully none of you think that that was. Well, we are currently inside Atlantis and there's this corridor of like Rolex, David Yurman, some other little shops and stuff. Wow, look at this. I just love the architecture. Crystal Court Shops, Casino and Royal Towers this way. Balenciaga, St. Laurent. Goodness gracious. I like these fixtures the casino right now and look at this that wonderful art glass up there the big ball of frizz there's a baby blowing a cloud wow really pretty too look at that one with the blue art glass and the constellation up there it's a woman pouring out her liquids and a leaping animal flying a centaur a crab some justice scales this is really pretty look at all the art all the murals up on the walls there. We can't go through unless you have a wristband, but it is really pretty. This floor is really pretty. I've got some dolphins over here. Yeah, I like these floors. The pink and the green and the charcoal. It's a large complex. So this is the main tower here, the Royal. And then we have been basically walking through here. Like there's a casino like right in here. And then we've been walking, you know, through here. And if we continue walking this other direction, there's a conference center. Look at this cool area there even. Oh, there's a lagoon. Wow. And then go over this way. And then there's also the reef, the cove. There are turtles down there swimming. Oh my gosh. And there's like this walkway under this water feature. There's a lot of turtles. All kinds of turtles. They're pretty. They have all these boats lined up here. So we're gonna walk, take a little stroll. So nice. So we're headed now down to the water taxis, which is this way. And then we'll sail across the water to the ship. And 
I'm sure it's seaworthy, but I'm glad we're not taking that one. My goodness, there's a hole in the corner of it. All right, so we just got off the elevator. We're back on the ship. Now to the Lido deck once again for lunchtime. All right, let's see what we can find. We'll get a little bit of this, Texas noodle casserole. There's no salad dressing. Let's yeah, see, what is there. this? Shrimp and grits. Yeah. Chicken barbecue. Home style, something or other. Mashed potatoes. Very good. Let's see what else we can find. I added pineapple. I didn't see anything else that I wanted, so maybe there's another area that I need to look at. So far, you know, I'm just going to eat this and then we can figure out the rest. There we go. It is a... Swiss and turkey, wonderful with some fries and some truffle sauce on there. All right, so I just finished lunch and I didn't eat very much of that sandwich. I actually pulled all the bread out of it and just ate the inside of it because it was just a lot of bread and it was kind of dry. The dessert was pretty good. Um, now I'm here in the Serenity Spa area. It's 21 and older. I'm a little out of breath because I was like going up all these stairs and I'm gonna hang out here for a bit. Well, it is the next day and we are getting breakfast now up in the Lido deck and I've got my coffee and I will soon go get some breakfast. Well, I've been sitting in a clamshell for the majority of the day here on Princess Key and eventually we're gonna go back to the ship, but I had lunch and it was just stuff that they brought in off the ship in a little section. Mostly had some fruit and lighter items like some broccoli and stuff like that. So tonight for dinner, we're gonna actually have the main dining room where we ate on the first night. And so I'm trying to save a little bit of room for that. Well, I am now heading to dinner where we will be having our dinner at the Silver Olympian again tonight. There's the alchemy bar up there. We're going to walk right by that and head straight over to the restaurant. Well, tonight I actually have a physical menu so we can look at that together. I am going to get the lasagna bolognese for the appetizer and then actually for the main I'm looking at I think the supreme of poulet farsi. I'm not sure what that is but it has a little icon next to it so maybe it's good. And then I'm really wanting this apple pie for dessert here. That sounds really good. Here's the lasagna appetizer. It's pretty large actually. It's like a lunch portion pretty much. All right, and here is the main. It is that stuffed chicken with the little carrots on the side. I did have them swap out the potatoes with mashed potatoes, which they were happy to do. So now we will try this. And desserts. Tiny little ice cream. Tiny. I am up on the top deck. There's a whole walking trail up here that I didn't even know about. It's on the other side of the ship, so I didn't, I didn't even realize. But there's also putt-putt golf up here too. Wow. Putt Putt, I think, is up there somewhere. Found it. All right, so we've got Putt Putt Golf up here. And then down below, there's also the basketball and volleyball courts over there. I have not really done much at all today. I mean, I checked out a couple of trivias, those were kind of uneventful, honestly there was not much going on on this last sea day and that's just unfortunate but it's one of these older ships and not that large and they don't seem to be doing a whole lot compared to some of the other carnival ships that i've been on so tonight we've got the dinner reservations again at the silver olympian and we're gonna head over there and we'll have dinner for the last time on this cruise at that dining room so let's go Okay, so for tonight, I think I'm going to go ahead and do the Cobb salad. I've been wanting one of those for a while. And then I want to do the grilled chicken breast for the main. I think that's the safest choice tonight. 
And I don't know about dessert. I don't know if I'm going to want that or not. But if I did, I haven't had the melting chocolate cake yet. But they do have baked Alaska. But I'm thinking maybe the melting cake. All right, I went ahead and changed the chicken to enchiladas and these little short ribs. So two for the price of one. Well, you can actually get as many as you want here, but that's what we're going to do. Now for the melting chocolate cake with ice cream. Baby, you gotta lose, baby.